It's been a while, but I'm back in my office and I want to show you guys a few things I found. The theme of this one is going to be have to do, it's going to have to do with the V. Specifically, the V of HVAC, the ventilation. A lot of things going on in this house. It's a beautiful house, brand new, as you can see, never been lived in. Their final inspection, just finished it up. Talked to my clients and they said, yeah, make a video, man. Check it out, we want to see it. It's all right, I'm going to do that. You can probably hear it, but I've got this exhaust fan on, blowing out ah, quite a bit of CFM. In fact, I have all of the vents on. And one thing I was checking out was this vent here. Now this is an intake. All the others are blowing out, but this guy should be pulling air in from the outside. And he hasn't opened up at all. Not at all. That is our makeup air vent because this guy pulls more than 400 CFM. So if he's pulling a bunch and all the other vents are pulling a bunch of air, where's the makeup air coming from if this guy is not opening? Well, I have some very specialized tools for that. Number one, toilet paper right here. Here at the bathroom, this is one place where the air is coming in at. See this hole in the strike? Well, how much air is being pulled in from here? Oh my lord, it's quite a bit. My god. I took a video of this, put it in the report. I'm sure the builder is going to be quite surprised. But uh, it's not just this one. It's every door in the house. They are all pulling in. I mean, just look. All of them are pulling air in. And it's not just the doors. We've got exterior walls here with our outlets. And you can see with the thermal image camera that there's actually quite a bit of air infiltration around these outlets. See all this orange being pulled in? That is air that's being pulled in through this cavity because it was not sealed. And the code says, we all know what the code says. IECC says you got to have all these sealed. And of course, man, they rarely do. I don't want to say never, but rarely do. One after another. Look at that air that's blowing in. And it's not just around the outlets. This is your sliding glass door. Look it up here. You see that spot? This is your trim. Not sealed at the top. Pulling air in around that. Now I know what you're saying, Casey. How come it's even brighter orange? around the perimeter of this door. Is that an energy inefficiency? Well, yes, it is, but it's not the same. You're looking at, because this is a metal door, aluminum frame door, you're looking at conductive heat transfer, which is not the same as convective heat transfer. All right, this is air blowing in, way more inefficient than just a piece of metal that's a little bit warmer sitting there. It's also the smoke detectors. All these smoke detectors. And this junction box at the ceiling next to the return air. Again with the smoke detectors. And then if you look at the ceiling, You'll see there's a big chunk of insulation that's missing at the uh, wall. And all of this up here is bat insulation that's not making proper contact with the ceiling itself. So this is what I'm looking at. That's the ceiling. That's that wall space. And you're not doing anything if that bat insulation is not making contact. Now one vent of interest is not that one so much as this one because this vent is not blowing coming back to that one you said just how cold that one is all right it feels great standing right underneath it but this one not blowing so what's going on is it not connected is it kinked I don't know but that's for the HVAC guys to figure out so there you go a little bit about V a little bit about AC uh, didn't really touch the H, 
But there's some issues with that stuff too, man. Uh, for example, the H is not working. Heating, didn't want to turn on, don't know why. The ACs work great. But uh, there were also some other things. Gosh, the motor for the, um, for the whole house ventilation system is overheating. I was getting about 180 degrees at that thing. I, I've never seen those overheat. There must be a wire that's arcing, something going on. Anyway, um, but I'm gonna put all that stuff and more on the report for my client and get it out to them tonight. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.